Hiya, so we're gonna uh, brew some wine. First time we've done it, a bit of home brewing. Um, I, as a novice, I just thought I would make my mistakes in front of the camera. We can run through it together. So, Ballyhoo, wasn't it? That's who sells it, yeah. Yeah, and we bought it from them. I've got to say, really good service, quick delivery. I think it's about the 23rd today, is it? Mm -hmm. 23rd of March, 2020, just had Boris's speech. Um, we've got this wine kit. In there came new... So it's, just say, it's made by Young's Brew. Yeah. Uh, the product is Wine Buddy. Yeah. And um, it says on the side which one it is. I, they probably sell a few. I, I mean, I'm, they probably do sell a few different ones. So this is White Zinfandel. I might not be pronouncing that correctly. Zinfandel, yeah. Produces yeah. 30 bottles of wine in just seven days. Contains all the ingredients. Well, it's sort of a contradiction. Just add sugar and water. So you need sugar. You need 4 kg of sugar. Right, so what do you get in the packet? You get the concentrate, you get various packets that it lists in these instructions basically. There we go, all of that, that's a concentrate in there. You need 4 kg of sugar, and that's what 4 kg is, this is dextrose, it's real fine stuff. It's like you're getting those tablets from Boots when you were a kid. And it's nice. Super sweet. Melts in the mouth. Oh, okay. Along with that, you'll need uh, a set of weighing scales to weigh your sugar. I mean, you could use just granulated sugar, it doesn't matter. Just make sure, obviously, whatever weighing scales you get, they're capable of measuring up to a kilo. Yeah, I mean, I, did I it, know that's basic. I did it four times. Some of them don't, actually. Um, you need a pair of scissors. You need something of, uh, I mean, it sounds like, something from like, Especially the environment we're in, something like from The Walking Dead. You basically need to measure the water temperature. Right, the water temperature, it says in the instructions, shouldn't be any higher than 53 degrees C. Yeah. So we filled it to five litres and it's... Yeah. And with these buckets, these Rich's buckets, I'm sure they're all the same, it's got markings on it, we filled it to five litres. Basically, I took two kettles full of hot water and threw some cold water in. Before doing this, I've sterilized everything. Um, and I've basically used just bleach, 5% bleach. I've filled it up. I've put sterilized everything, uh, the air trap and everything, and I've put it all in. And then what I've done, I've actually done it in the shower room. I filled the bucket up, put the bleach in, left it for a few minutes, cold water, because it's chlorine, if you use hot water, it'll evaporate, it won't do any good. For about 15 minutes, then just let, let it rinsing out, basically. So, so we got these, but we bought these buckets, so obviously you'd, yeah. like first off, you'd want to clean yeah. again. So it's everything to clean, sterile. Uh, I've got a stirring stick, I've sterilized. I've got a jug, I've sterilized. I just keep everything clean. I might look a bit mucky, but I'm clean, honestly. Doing DIY at the moment, aren't yeah. we painting, so that's why you look like that. So, uh, I've used a wine washing up bowl, I've got a clear bag in there with the dextrose in. So, um, we've done the beer the same way over there. That's bubbling away quite nicely. We sterilised everything the same way. Yeah, we so made a video works. about that. That's the wary, so that's what we've been that's there doing a few right. days. So Sterilisation works the way we've done it. Right. Okay, clean all clipment, which I've done. Uh, fill your fermentation with five litres of hot water, no hotter than 53 degrees. So let's just check that. 40. I mean, that, that that's not 100% that's accurate. accurate. Well, I mean, saying I'm 30. You're 30. 31. No. So I wonder what the Jack Russell is. But anyway, so we know it's below 53 for sure. Well, it's definitely good. below 53. That's 100%. Right, step. Fill your finish, I've done that. Pour five in the water and then stir for 30 seconds. Right, this is my Four sugar. Four kg sugar and stir for 30 seconds to completely dissolve the sugar. It's quite a bit of sugar. Yeah, it's a lot of sugar that actually. I need to put it in slowly because I'll see what's going to happen. And I guess, in all honesty, the finer it is, I mean, this is dexterous, but granulated, do you know what? I can't see why you couldn't use caster sugar. Somebody might say, you know, it might be can't. too expensive, actually, might it? Yeah, it's might bigger. Be. I don't yeah. know. This um, dextrose was no more expensive than um, 
granulate sugar. And the climate ring, I didn't want to pay the load of sugar from the shop. So, so stir for 30 seconds. Okay. That's obviously to dissolve it. Uh, when you're stirring it, it goes a bit like a PVA glue, it goes white. You see there in there? Yeah, it's gone really white, hasn't it? It's gone white, so it's just dissolved it. The finer it is with the steps, it's obviously easier to dissolve. I can't stress enough how important it is um, to keep things clean. I think we'll do this video in a few parts. So obviously, we've got to let all this dissolve. So that's dissolved, that's 30 seconds, that's that bit done. Uh, pour the contents of the concentrate, which is this. Is that all dissolved? Yeah. Okay, fair right. enough. It says 30 seconds. This is the concentrate. In this pack, it's got a green thing on the top. It would be helpful in the instructions if they said what this was. Yeah, it doesn't have any label on it, does um, it? I've just worked it out. First time doing this. so What's this stuff here? This is different stuff. That's afterwards. Let's not go into oh, okay. that. Okay, afterwards, moment. fair enough. This is like part one of the video, making your wine, getting it ready to ferment. Oh, okay, all right. Smells yeasty. Let me see if dip. Right, okay. Let's put that in there. Do you know what the way things are? I'm going to hang on to that container. So right, what's the next step? Stir for 10 seconds. So I'm back on my stick. Pour One, the contents of two. the concentrate pack into the fermentation vessel and stir for 10 seconds, which you're doing now. Five. It says then rinse out the pack using a small amount of cold tap water and add this to the vessel. So you put a bit of water in that and then... Okay, so I'm moving the cold. For any of you who've seen our other videos, this is the IKEA tap. I think that's just to get every, every little bit out of it. So what I will do... Done that bit. Right, okay, so it's easy so far. Top up the firm in, in, in the case of grape juice crystallising, please immerse in warm water to clear. Well, then we're fine. Okay. Top up the fermentation vessel with cold water up to 22.7 litres and stir for 20 seconds. Right, we'll probably come back in next, and I'm going to top that with cold water, which is going to take a little time. Yeah, right, so we'll, this will be part two when we finish that, then we'll move on, okay. Right, welcome back. So we filled up to 22, um, 22 litres. I'm going to put the other 700. So it says 22 700 milliliters so in it now. The markings are on the barrel, and then we just got 700 on the jug. It does say 700 on there, so yeah. we're going to tip that in. Right, so that's that stuff done. There's, there's quite a bit in that. Right, next instruction. Da -da. Da -da. Stir for 20 seconds. Okay, so 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000. That's about 20 seconds there. Honestly, it's all, it's all looking... It's all looking... Why? If you know what I mean, I don't drink the wine, so... Top up fermentation, we've done this, pour contact, and it says... Top up it, and fill for 20 seconds, we've done that. It says, pour contents of pack A yeast nutrient into liquid, stir for 10 seconds, then tightly fit right. lid. Oh, right. Uh, pack A yeast nutrient. Yeah. Hence the scissors. So all this other stuff will be in another video. So this is a multi multi step step video yeah. basically. Uh, so just to double check, pack a yeast neutron. Yeah. That's definitely that. Right. And it, it's asking you to stir for ten seconds. Pour it in. I think you just whack that in. To be honest. Yeah, and then because... it says just stir for ten seconds and then tightly fit the lid. The difference between wine. And putting the yeast in and the beer is you just sprinkle the yeast on top and leave it alone with the wine you stir it in so you stir the yeast in so one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand four one thousand five one thousand six one thousand seven 
and that's, about it. that's probably about it. Yeah, I'd make sure it's all in there though, just a little bit more. Well, it is all in there. Yeah, okay, oh, it's, yeah, that's fine, so that's that done. Right, um, and as it said before, it tightly fit the lid basically. Right, so. Um, tightly fit the lid, attach airlock to the bung, then half fill the airlock with cold water. Right, so I have sterilised this bung already. Um, literally, just do that. So, and I know that'll. Uh, Do I need filling up a little bit more? No. And you put the red cap back on. What for the wine, do you? So if I do that now, it'll half fill it. Yeah. Okay, right. Yeah, you need um, the cap. The cap, the red cap, this is something we have to look at, uh, goes back on just to stop any insects getting in. It's not tight fitting, it just acts as a shield. A shield, okay. So attach airlock to bung and then half fill airlock with cold water, which you've done. done. Replace the cap, which yeah. you've done. Yeah. Insert the airlock into the hole done from the table. So it's easy to put it in beforehand. Yeah. So it's obviously, this is quite easy so far. <laughs> And then, and then it says leave the vessel to ferment ferment at warm temperature 20 to 25 Celsius for six days. Okay. And they reckon the container is placed on a tray or work surface in case of excessive frothing. So obviously we're all right coming so over, we're on like a tile right. floor, so. Right, so we're good, uh, got. And then it's just to point this out. After six days, check the specific gravity using a hydrometer. That right. hydrometer is something you will need. If you're buying one, make sure you get the vessel with it. You can buy that in the next video. If specific gravity is less than whatever, gravitation can take longer than six days if the temperature is dropped. Or if the gravity is where you should. Okay, let's Right, so, so this is... what I can do. I've got, after doing all of that, I've got one, two, three, four, five packets left. I'm going to pop that back in the box with the instructions. And uh, We've got quite a high tech uh, sort of brewing, what would you call it, port centre over here. Oh, our brewing, yeah. Oh, I'm about brewing. as high tech as you can get it. So, what I'm going to do is unfortunately, the wellies have got to go. And I might have to adjust me. Uh, where are you you might have to adjust this area a little bit to fit all this in. Yeah. Right, so I'm now just going to move the wine over there. There is some weight in it. That's the only reason we've done 27 it there, kilograms of weight. Yeah, it's quite. So you are you have to be a little bit right. careful. It's next to the radiator. And literally I'm just going to leave it to do its bit. And that's it. I'm going to what I'm going to do. Oh, she can't do this if you've got kids. They're probably kids or inquisitive dogs or... Well, we have got inquisitive dogs. Or, uh, so I'm going to put the box on top so I know what it is. Uh, years ago, I brewed some of this. I know a word of a lie. We had hamster. Yeah. And guess what happened with the box and the contents <laughs> when it escaped. <laughs> right. Unfortunately, yeah, Having two Jack Russells, we don't have hamsters anymore, so I'm just going to leave that alone and leave it to its business. But, um, like I said, we just sterilised it with some bleach, rinsed it all out, uh, Domestus obviously, quality stuff. So, we've made a video about the wary already, and we might do a follow-up video once that's done. Yeah, because this, I know this is a bit off topic from the wine, but this stuff here was probably about another five or six days Saturday, on it. so this is two three days in yeah so we'll, we might do a follow-up video on the wherry if when you no. do your wine thing oops, oh, you want to know if it's fermenting all right I can do it it's not start doing it there yet so I'll do it on the wherry because it's been going a little bit if you put a bit see where the water's level at the moment equal if you put some pressure on one side will drop can you see it yeah and one will stay the same Keep the pressure on, it should stay like that while you've got pressure on the lid. That means the airlock is working. See, so watch. And if you take the pressure off that, I can see that this whole lid is raised. Yeah. There's obviously a fair bit of so, gases and things. One side will rise and one will drop. 
and if it maintains the level on each side, it means the airlock is working. So the rubber, the rubber bung is. And you can see, up. and then what you get is obviously we've just done that. So you can't. You can see these little. That's the CO two coming through basically. Caps on. It's just to stop anything dropping in there. That, that's all it is. Um, some people say put alcohol in these airlocks. Some people say boil some water first and let it cool down. Put it in there. It's up to you. I found the easiest way is to sterilise the lid, sterilise that, put it in the lid, and then fill it, and then just click the lid on. That's and we're, we're novices. We've never done this before at all, apart from the incident with the hamster. That was many years ago. That's before all this stuff came out. She's nice and easy. Anyway, uh, just trying to make a little bit, you know, light of it because we're in a serious situation. March twenty third, twenty twenty. Um, supermarket shelves are empty, so you might want a glass of wine or a bottle of beer for the summer. This might be your only way of getting it. The way things are going. Hope this helps you. Uh, I'm sure you can get deliveries online. We use Ballyhoo. Um, B A L I. Yeah, it's a company. Yeah. They couldn't supply everything. When we've done the wine, we'll show you. Uh, I think we need a siphon, some sort of siphoning tube. They do bag in boxes and they also do like a nice plastic bag in a box type of thing. So uh, you can bag it up and keep it. That, there's 30 bottles of wine at 11%. That's a lot of wine for, for the, yeah, that's a lot of wine, isn't it? 15, 20 quid, I think. That is a fair bit of wine. Yeah, but obviously you've got to buy. Yeah, sugar, but, once you, but that's not that much, is it? Uh, sugar's your only other expense, but once you've got your tubs and stuff, you're done. Yeah. Um, I would recommend these barrels. I remember what, what uh, brand those are, you know? I would recommend it because they are called um, Riches barrels. Riches, yeah. yeah. Fermentation bin, and you get usually get two, two. I think you get two four, for about, four of them or something like that. Two for about... 15, 20 quid or something. And they include the... We bought from Amazon. They include to those as well, what those things called. Uh, they include them. If you don't get them... What are they called? Airlocks. Airlocks, yeah. Uh, so it lets the CO2 out, but doesn't let anything in. If you don't get them and they're missed off the order for whatever reason, just let them know and they'll send them in the post to you. Because we had the same thing with a different supplier. Brilliant supplier. So we're going to do part two of this video once we're at that point. So now. when we're fermented, um, there's other bits to go in there. I think it's finings, which are, from what I understand is about clearing making it a nice clear wine and stuff. So we'll do a bit of research, then we'll add it. We'll go along with you as we're learning ourselves, basically. Uh, the mistakes we'll make, hopefully, then you won't make, but we did all right with that. I think we're doing all right with that, and that looks probably as it'll be all right. Cleanliness, cleanliness. That's the trick to it, I believe. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this helps you. And part two of this video will be in the next few seconds, a few days later. But I have to wait, so... Yeah, yeah, you have to wait six, seven days. Right, thanks for watching. Yeah, see you in a few seconds. Hello, and welcome back to part two of this video. It's obviously it's a few days later. Um, we made part one of the video was made up on the 23rd of the 3rd. It's now the 29th. So fermentation. March. So part one was fermentation. And then we're doing this now, clearly. Day six. So 23rd, it's the 29th of March, March 2020. 2020, yeah. And once the fermentation is complete, if you watch part one of this, it has various packs in this. You just empty them out. Just before I go any further, one thing you might want to do is make sure your barrel is raised. So when you want to get the wine out, um, you can use a siphon to get it out. So I've just used an upturned barrel with the lid on to give it some support at the bottom. It says put it on the kitchen cover, but I'm doing this house up and I haven't really got space to be honest. So this pack comes with lots of uh, bits. And uh, it's now asking me, once fermentation is complete, pour the contents of pack C into the wine and stir vigorously for one minute. Right, so I'm just literally going to find pack C. That's F, it's pack D. Pack C, right, okay. So, what I need to do is remove my lid. You find somewhere along here there's a gap. The gap is there, just haven't taken it. So, that's the wine at the moment. It's, it's fizzing. Yeah. If I could listen to it.
you can hear it fizzing so it's doing something and there's a lot of condensation coming off the top of that as well from that bottom of that lid it smells it smells like wine it smells wine it's been in there six days so okay. we'll follow the instructions yeah so it's asked me to put uh, clearing nine pack c stabilizer into the wine so that's what i'm going to do without dropping the bit in there and into wine vigorously and stir vigorously for one minute so i wonder what happens when we have sterilized the thing that's all of that in there Get rid of that as I'm going along. So stir for one minute, rigorously. Uh, sort of frothing up quite a bit. About 20 seconds gone. All oh, right. Okay, so into wine for one minute to dissolve the stabiliser and remove the majority of gas from the wine, which clearly it's doing. It's probably about 30 seconds there now. I'll tell you now. It smells swiney. Right. Oh yeah, it definitely smells of that. <laughs> about, about 40 seconds there. You get drunk on this, just smelling it. about 50 seconds this isn't exact timing but it's probably about a minute there it it's stopped fizzing as well yeah. so so it's removed most of the gas it says most of the gas so that obviously does does something pretty right. thing because it's not so fizzing anymore sterile, right okay. um, that's that cool that is strong stuff pour contents of pack d and the F pack into the wine stir for 10 seconds. Right. It says something else about Sauvignon Blanc, but that isn't what we're doing. doing. We're doing yeah. um, so infinite. Pack D and pack F. C, G. There's pack white. It's white. That one, pack D and pack F. So I, I could do it. you just cut them. So what have we got to do? Pour the cons of pack D, the cons of pack D and F pack into the wine and stir for ten seconds. Don't worry if F pack contains any sediment or bits. That's funny, isn't that? Because that says white Zinfandel. That is what our wine is. The box is found here somewhere. It does. It is red. So I wonder if it's a sort of a rosé. It probably is. It's my. So we've got to pour these two packs in here and stir for 10 seconds, which we're doing now. And then after an hour, you've got to pour the pack, the contents of pack F findings into wine, stir it for 10 seconds. I'll leave to stand for an hour. So I've got to put pack. What's the other pack I've got? Hang on, just read that and just make sure we've got this right. So pack E. No, you're doing. No, you're doing number 10. Pack D yeah. and pack F. Yeah. We need in. So here's and you just F. need to stir that for 10 seconds. It's quite easy. So one's a, one's a red liquid and one's a clear liquid. And as you can see in the bucket, it's, it's also changed the colour. That's... I guess it's important to get as much as you can out because of the reason there's so much in here. I don't know how much room there is for So error. we've got to stir that for 10 seconds. Right, that's about 10 seconds, roughly. Right, what am I supposed to do next? And, um, just says, and then it says, pull pack E findings one into the wine, stir gently for 10 seconds. And you leave it to stand for an hour. Right, okay. So there we go. So, so let's have a look at that at the moment. This is supposed to, so we've done 10 and 11. Right. And then we leave for an hour. We leave. That's the last thing you put in here for, for 10 seconds you're stirring and you leave for an hour. And then after an hour you then put pack F in. So 
there's, a, there's quite a bit of stuff to go in here. Not quite sure. There must be other packs. So the pack we're putting in here at the moment is pack E findings. We're putting pack E. We've put pack D and F in there. Yeah, that's already in there, isn't it? Yeah, got to put pack E in findings. So the last pack to go in is G, yeah? Yeah, it is, yeah. Right. That's right, yeah. Right, so I'm putting in pack E. E findings, and you've got to stir that for 10 seconds. Right, so let's get close up of this liquid in here. One, get it all in there. So we start stirring it. That's about 10 seconds roughly. And uh, let's leave this to stand for an hour. Now. Do right. you put the lid back on? I don't know. You probably do. Yeah, well, I would. I would stop, to stop bits getting in there, yeah. Right. Alexa, set alarm for one hour. One hour, starting now. Okay. So, obviously, part three of this video will be when we have the other stuff, and then we'll have a part four, which will be the siphoning and finishing off, but that's after 24 hours of wine. should be clear. Yeah. Okay, so... So, so um, at the moment we're left yeah. with, let's just show people again, because okay, it's our first time we're doing it. So at the moment we're left with like this almost pink, pinky, pinky blumongy red, yeah. liquid. Yeah. And this is supposed to be a, a, a white wine. So um, we will, well, rosé, basically. It's got to be like that, basically, yeah. So we're going to end up with that. It says white, but that's clearly not. It's a sort of right. rosé sort Fine. of thing. Right, so we'll see how we get on. And hopefully we end up with that in another day or so. But we'll come back to the video in an hour when we put pack G in, uh, findings three. And I think they're for clearing things. I think they're the same as beer. Uh, just remember to get everything clean like I've been doing. Ignore the jeans, ignore the tools. We're still doing the house up. So I'm gonna leave that in that bucket there. Give me scissors a wash. I'm just gonna close the lid. See how we get on. Right. right, thanks for watching. Welcome back. Right, so we've uh, we're on this bit with the instructions uh, clearing, and we got to the point where we're putting these things called f finings in, which clears the liquid. If you look at the video earlier, so it's quite cloudy and okay. We're going to put hands up. It's my fault. Um, I put pack E and F in together instead of leaving it an hour between each one. So that is down to me and my fault. So when you're putting findings in, pack E, F, you need an hour between them. Then you go into G, that needs to be left overnight. So you put pack E in, leave it an hour, pack F in, leave it an hour, then put pack G in and leave that overnight for 24 hours. So that's an error we made. But uh, looking at the lid, taking the lid off, it's definitely a lot clearer. You can see how clear it is, so it definitely works. Look at all that is. It's apparently his findings grouped together, solids and stuff to get rid of them. Okay. I'm guessing that's going to sort of sink to the bottom at some point and do <clears> something <throat> with it, but to find out. So our last bit of the instructions with the uh, clearing is now to put pack G in, findings three, and leave it for 24 hours. So around about 10 o'clock on the 30th, we'll have another look at this um, and go on to siphoning and finishing off I guess. Okay. Okay, so this is the final bit. Uh, it probably doesn't warrant it, but we'll go through the process. We made one mistake, but it doesn't seem to have adversely affected. What, what have we got to do this? We've got to just pour it in. Have we got to mix it in or anything like that? Seconds, isn't it? Again. Is this pack G, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And then at least stir for 10 seconds, refit the lid and leave stand for 24 hours. Okay, okay. So fair enough. I'm going to pour this in again. Make sure I've got it all in because I think it's quite important. Get rid of it, don't have to put it in there. Yep. 10 seconds. One. Right, that's about, that's about 10 seconds now. Right, we'll see what's happened again. It's uh, gone all sort of pink, cloudy. And it's bubbling a little bit. Fizzing. It smells nice. It does smell nice, yeah. And I don't like wine, but that smells nice. Yeah, it smells Not really, quite nice. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so now, all we've got to 
want to do is pop the lid back on and leave it 24 hours and we'll come back to the end of our video well won't be the end of this because we're gonna have to put it in containers um, anyway hope that helps you uh, if you're thinking of brewing some wine up in these uh, unusual 2020 circumstances Hello, welcome back to part three in our wine making video obviously the wine's been sat for the 24 hours it said it should be sat for and we're ready to remove it from the main fermentation bucket into a nice clean bucket with all the sediments um, gone to the bottom you can see it actually so we've put all the filings in and, and it's definitely cleared now you can smell it as well can't you yes it smells nice i have tasted a little bit and i've run it past the uh, major general to make sure that she's happy with the sweetness of it and she says she is so we're all good to go because you can add sugar to it you can't can you can make it yeah, sweeter that's why we're mentioning it i like a, i like a toffee pudding but i wouldn't want any sweeter than this and i'm not a wine drinker so 30th of march 2020 um try to get a siphoning tube it's going to be like may time for it to arrive and obviously we've got the coronavirus thing okay i haven't got the coronavirus and people going why on earth are you doing this what you're going to do but it's the way you're getting the wine out of the tube and it is alcohol it will kill it but we could do with a clear tube really couldn't we but i haven't got any so this is literally and that's all been sterilized I've sterilized all this so this is literally what i'm going to do this is a piece of sterilized garden hose brand new garden hose sterilized uh, i can't remember who it is i think it's yeah a little bit like this it's about a meter long yeah and all i'm going to do is this There you go. But you're not you're not letting anything in your mouth into that bucket, it's yeah. only the clean and stuff. If you come over here with the camera, look, I'm, I'm monitoring where it is. It's, it is because there is some sediment at the bottom. I just need to keep it in. But not in the bottom basically. Yeah. And that's just natural just sucking it and obviously it's clean so i mean for those who are sort of my age and a bit older you can probably recall trying to i mean it's dropping quite a bit actually trying to get a bit petrol out your car or your moped or something and this is what we would do in the old days i did suggest maybe using some sort of pump Just coming in and then out or buying the proper stuff but um, can't get hold of it at the moment if i'm honest we could have stuck a tap in might have let that a bit in. lower that i don't know if that mate not really but it does work oh yeah it definitely works all right so if, if you're stuck we just can't get hold of one we just forgot to order it if i'm honest can't get hold of one right so we're, we're, you know march 2020 um we live quite remotely now and it's doing it but i've got to say um the process has been quite easy i mean basically you know we're going to Decant most of this. And you can see how much that's pulling that down, even with our real rudimentary method. It's, it's, it's it works. It's pulling that no problem at all. But this is quite um, so. It's garden hose, which is quite wide. And, and that is dropping. dropping. It's actually seems to be going down quicker now than it was. I was just prep, but I mean that's that's literally just. And then what we're going to do in a little bit. But we don't want any of this in here, do we? Any of no, this rubbish? No, we'll see the different colour. What we're doing a little bit is uh, we bought some bagging boxes, bibbons, like you're buying a bag in a box from your off your shelf, and they were like three quid, um, and they're pretty good. I think the trick with this, if you just come back with the camera, is don't let it see fresh air at the bottom of the pipe. No, we don't want any of that rubbish in the bottom either, do we? No. And, and that, we that's are, basically well, all, all the... This is what these three lot of finings um, does. It makes a lump of this, any sediment or anything. But We are novice, what, novices at this as well, so... It's, I mean, it's done the job. I reckon there's 30 bottles out of this. You probably wouldn't get too much more out of that. What is all that stuff? Just... Yes. Like almost like a sand, it's just like sand, don't it? 
I'm just including this in the video in case anybody's interested. Right, I'm going right. to leave that alone now. I think that's about your lot, to so, us. so we managed to get... Well, I'll click on a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I think that's enough, isn't it? I reckon that's enough for anybody. Yeah, I reckon that's, that's what, more than enough for anybody. I mean, that's what's at the bottom of the... So it's like a... Do you remember what we started off with? It's just... It's quite heavy as well, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, that smells real... Real whiny. God, yeah. And you can actually see if you tip it, you can actually see the difference. So, so what, I'm just going to get a ladle, which I've got there, and just show you how clear it is. But we have, literally, as we're going along, been make sure everything's clean, even though if I don't look very clean. Oh, well, it's just your jeans because you've been doing a bit of DIY. But... That, so, which we keep saying. Uh, so, let's just have, so that's the stuff we've drained off. So we started off with 22, is it 20? 23 I think it was, and 22, we've got about 20 and a half in there roughly. 22.7 litres, right? And we have ended up just under. We're all right. Quite a bit. Fine, that, 20 litres. That's, that's, right. that's enough. I could have got a bit more out, but I just don't want to mess the wine up. Sorry. No, because then we have to filter it again, so... Shot of that. Now, bearing in mind, you know, if you look at our videos, this is the first time we've ever done this. I'm not showing it, sir. I tell you what, that is as clear as anything. It's quite fizzy as well, isn't it? It's got a lot of bubbles in it. Right. Taste test. Taste testing. It, it smells, smells it's nice. nice. Right, I'm wine. not a wine connoisseur, I wouldn't yeah. pretend to be, but you can probably tell I'm not a wine connoisseur. It's sweet, not over sweet. It's smooth. Have you ever tasted this wine before though? What's it called? It's called White. Zinfadel. That's how you probably not how you pronounce it, but I'll tell you what. As a wine, I would drink that, and I'm normally John Smith's or Carlin. Okay. Occasional Carlsberg. Right. But that is a nice drop of wine. So uh, we in a minute we'll do another video how we're going to store it, just so you know. Well, we can show that. Are. Can we show that as well as part of this? As yeah, we'll we just add it on. Yeah. 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 But we're just going to. I'm going to lift this up and then we're going to do the hose pipe trick again and put it into some and just show like bag in a box. the options. There's a couple of options. Yeah, there's a couple of options where yeah. we're going to how we're going to store it ourselves. Yeah. Right. We'll be back in a few seconds. Hello. Welcome back to um, part three, the final part. So we're obviously we've got our wine made and we we need to put it into um, containers. We've chosen to put it into bag in a box there's two versions of this we've got here we've got a more basic version which comes with a plastic liner with a tap on and this tap comes on and off doesn't it yeah and the, and in and out. the way you get the, the tap to work is you squeeze up and you just remove that yeah and, seal. The, and this front bit here i think you have to take bit that off. i think if you're some sort of bit of seller tape on there but yeah. basically it's that it comes with plastic liner Folds flat like that. So anyway, so there. so as I was saying, that's the first one. Obviously, we'll make this up in a minute. Then the second one is, a, is is the same sort of thing, but a bit more sturdy. So there are a couple of options. A bit more upmarket. It's probably made by Laboul. Laboul and. Um, yeah. There's a difference with this one, it comes with a silver foil type these bag. These are three litre bags. Although I will say these, this mechanism here, the release mechanism, does look uh, the same, it's the same, doesn't it? Yeah, it's the same. It's slightly just, different, yeah. but it's the same pretty yeah. much. You just hold that and press down. And yeah. Uh, these are reusable as well, by the way, the, the, the bags. Yeah. Um, so this comes with a base. This. Uh, you can get in the bottom, that's to put in your freezer and chill so down. It's an ice pack. You freeze that and put it on the bottom. So you keep your wine cool. 
freeze that if you wanted to. Fill your so background. basically, we're going to decant, try and decant that into various bags in a box and a few bottles that we've got. So you can't leave it in a. Uh, you can't leave it in there. Yeah. It just looks a bit prettier, but anyway, there's options for you. This was 18 quid, I think. These were three quid with the bags in the box from Balubu. Uh, no, it's um, it's Ballyhoo. Ballyhoo. Co and I think yeah. that's spelled B A L I H O O. If you just Google it's two it, two eyes in it. If you just if you Google Ballyhoo wine, it will come up. They're really good company. But good company, yeah, really good delivery, very well packed. Um, so just a good company. So what we're going to do um, is literally we might as well use the one before we can. Put the bag in the box back and stick it in the fridge. And you can carry it around. The I think if if, I think I prefer the more heavy duty one yeah just because obviously cardboard is cardboard because that's a plastic container but if you're having a party or yeah you want in your living room then but obviously you can buy wine in a bag of box anyway but one thing I would I'm not say, sure how many liters you get in there though liters. it's three liters that's so okay you can use the bag that comes with it obviously foil is best with the light but you can also um, I understand use these as well, bring it interchangeable, so that will go in there, the standard bag. Yeah, that would go the other way around then, wouldn't yeah. it? Well, yeah, they're, yeah, they're the same, the bags are like yeah. the same basically. Three litre bags, right. It's going to be interesting getting all that in there though, isn't it? Yeah, we'll have a go in a minute. I think you'll have to sit it down, put the thing on it, then yeah. manoeuvre it into position. Right, so there's my bag, first time we've ever, ever done this. Should we do that and then come back? Yeah, I think so, yeah, so let's fill one up. We'll, we'll let you know how easy it was to fill up. We'll do that off camera and then we'll come back. We'll let you know how it's going. Hello and welcome back to the fourth part of our video. As you can see, the fermentation bin is now empty. So decanted all the wine into the majority of the bag bags and boxes. is free of them made up. They're relatively simple. We just put a bit of tape around just to hold it. Come with these. You can reuse them. You have to sterilise them. Though. Come with these and go in there. Um, that's a slightly better one and it's got like a it has like notches and you push it down and twist yes yeah, it's, it's it's not the easiest thing in the world if i'm honest uh, there might be a there's probably a knack to it but anyway there, we go, there you go so we we couldn't get as much in hit in here as compared to the, how much did you get in these right ones? you can get three liters in these three these bags those bags are in here and they'll go in there right and it's but, like that but if you're using one of these yeah, this is a three litre one. Just put two litres in. Does it say you can put three litres? Well, it's just a three litre. Well, the only thing, you probably can, but we had a problem but getting the lid liters. on without, we didn't want to ruin the bag. Three so. litres. So you, whoever, it, you might be better off doing that. It was difficult nice. squeezing three litres yeah. in. So what we did, we, we didn't drink it, we decanted it. So it goes on those notches and twists, but we'll do that in, we'll do that in a minute, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. okay. Um, Right, I will show you how it works. So one of these is already open. So basically on these nozzles, they've got like a thing, like a drink sink, they're sealed. And obviously this one is being opened already, so. And literally, hold up your fingers there. Probably just go like that. Yeah, it's gone. Not loads, it's strong stuff, not too. That's your second one, isn't it? Second taste. That's nice. Right. How refreshing. Right, we're going to test this one now. <laughs> oh, right. Test this one then. Go on. Fair you any... should be able to do this yourself, really. It's just yeah, if it's for you the hold camera. It and, you, and you hold it underneath. Right, and just so it's it the up. same process, that's all. Yeah, so they're really easy. They're going to taste the same. So, uh, if, a couple of yeah. options. For, well, you can bottle it. Yeah, that's it. I was gonna, just going to say that. You can you put can, them in bottles. Obviously, you can bottle it, or you can do this. It's entirely but up to you. These bags come in sterile. Yeah. It's easier, easy for storage. You can stack them. Um, these are reusable, apparently. So. I'd probably put, if I was reusing these boxes, I'd probably put like a 
elastic band on it. So Big it's elastic it. band or just like a piece of Velcro or, yeah. or something. I don't yeah. know. I mean, to Some be honest, you thing. could just have what, what, um, just a, a, a little tip when you're filling these up, um, we decanted this from the barrel with a jug when it's clear. Fermentation, um, yeah, yeah, and uh, it's easier when you're doing it to just squeeze the bag open and put it in a washing up bowl just for support the bottom of the bag on there then pour it in it's a lot easier and it was quite easy to do with the jug to be honest obviously so. you've got, got, got to keep it all clean now yeah. so you have to bear that in yeah, mind yeah but these are sterile you haven't got to worry about yeah it, the and these, these all these ones here are all sealed at the moment um and when you're pushing these in it's the first time we've used these there is a distinct clip there's like a if you haven't heard a click they're not in and you definitely would not want these like this without it being pushed in because I can imagine all that coming out of you. But for sort of storage wise in boxes it's a lot easier. Even with these you could just put them in a big box and leave them and swap them out. This is quite nice. Um, That's something you could have more in the home isn't it? Yeah you put it in. You have them in the home. But and that comes with that an ice pack. What they call? You an ice it. pack yeah. Um, these you could sit like this in your fridge chilling down um, and you could just lay them out and something to be honest you, you could put one of them in the fridge you know if i'm honest you I mean, you know you probably don't no, i'd have it. it in a box you could have it in a box but yeah. what i'm saying is if you've got a party you don't want it in the box you could just use yeah i'll probably have it in the box so yeah but they're quite durable and strong bags, they don't leak. Um, it was a very, very easy process using these. Um, and I know it's our first time, but rather than messing around with bottles and sterilising the bottles and everything, we just went There is a little bit more equipment that we need though. Yeah. There's the thing for transferring it. Definitely we need to get improve but, on and we will bit. we will definitely get one of them. Instead of the uh, garden hose pipe, but like I say, it's... 30th March, it's difficult to get older stuff with what's going on in the country, so uh, we're just trying to make do really. Anyway, I'm sure there's some errors with uh, what we've done, uh, probably even how these are sitting in there, but it's the first time we've done it. If you've got any comments, let us know, um, and I hope this helps you, even if we've made some mistakes, not to make the same mistakes that we've made. So if you are looking at getting in, into this, we hope this video provides just our, it's really our experience, yeah. it's not, it's not. We're not experts, but it's our experience. So, but the wine producing the wine process with um, this system was, I mean, real easy. easy and the results piece. we've got, it's just crystal clear. Yeah. Um, I can't remember actually. It wasn't a fortune this, but it definitely tastes. Um, I'm not a wine connoisseur, but from the wine I have drunk before over the years, it does taste better than some shop bought wines. I must say, but. Um, I guess we've got a bit more time to deal with it here, that's all. But it took seven seven days, literally. So this is Young's Brew at Wine Buddy, yeah. seven days kit. 30 bottles, seven day kit, and, and it was. Apparently it's 11%. Yeah, strong stuff. Just, it was seven days. It was seven days, That was, they were, it was true, what they said. Yeah. Um, what else is there to show about it? I you should probably the get these in diff different, uh, yeah, diff we'll different versions as well. Yeah. The one we did was the... Um, White Sin Sinfidel, this one. Yeah, we didn't add any extra sugar because it was sweet enough, like we've already said, so it was just a matter of uh, decanting it, and, and away we went, really. Yeah. Right, thank you very much for watching.